Hey everybody in, out there in the, in the ICA group. My name is Andrew. And I'm Omar. And we created a product called Honeycart. Honeycart's an online ordering system from drop-off catering. So, um, there is a, so how did these two guys get into the catering space? Uh, first, a little background about us. We're both partners in another business, another software business that does online booking for home services. So um, the way we got into this was one day a friend of mine uh, was telling me a story about how a caterer here in the, the D.C. area, which is where uh, Omar and I both live, mm -hmm. he was saying how he wanted my friend to help him build uh, catering software to help him run his business because he had outgrown the one that he's currently using. And uh, I thought that was so random because... I don't know anybody in catering and I, didn't, I never, I just never knew anything about catering and I, I was just so um, surprised that that's a thing, that there was actually a market for catering software. And so I told Omar about it that day and... Um, Coincidentally, yeah. my, my wife actually works in catering too and um, she, for the last three years, she's come and, and home and, and, and just talked about a lot of the challenges that she's had working at um, her... her uh, her job and, and a lot of the challenges are around like you know having to train new people because um, there's a high turnover rate of people that are getting hired every time they get new contracts or channels um, they make about 15 million a year and um, there she always talks about a lot of mistakes and stuff that, that go on there because you know they're they're taking orders over the phones they're, they're handwriting it out they're having to enter it into another system while interpreting like what was written on a piece of paper by the person who actually took the order and and for me them making 15 million dollars a year and 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 having these challenges i was like that's crazy you know like why can't they just solve that by building something out so we actually uh, took a look at what they were, you know, what they were using and, and some of their processes and, and, and noticed that, man, you know what, we, if we could build something that would, could help uh, uh, alleviate a lot of the stress and, and minimize like, uh, the mistakes on orders and stuff by, like that. By basically letting the customer put the order in Correct. themselves. Yeah. And so what we did next was the next day we just started researching different <coughs> catering companies' websites. And we started noticing a trend where um, being millennials, we always expect to be able to do everything online or through your phone. And when we saw that majority of catering websites did not have some sort of way to do that, meaning place an order online, uh, I, w I thought that was so crazy because back when I was working um, at my, my, my day job, my nine to five job, we would order breakfast catering and lunch catering all the time. So it wasn't like a wedding where we needed to call it in to have somebody walk us through things. And so we just felt like there was a huge opportunity there. And really, we only noticed uh, two people, two types of caterers that were able to do this. And I'll let Omar tell you more about it. Well, one type of caterer was one that used like third party uh, ordering sites or delivery sites. And they would actually put these links on their websites um, under like an order now type, type button. And then it would take them off of their site onto another site uh, or a third party. And then they would place their order there. And then that third party would then send the order back to the catering company and then would be the middleman between the communication between the caterer and the actual customer. And I thought that was really weird. What, what was the worst part about that? Though? Uh, they didn't control. A, they couldn't control their menu. Uh, B, they couldn't really control the um the the customer service aspect of their business and, and really then the communication part so anytime so like a customer need to make a, a modification or something they had to contact i, I think like for me though like i the, the worst part was the commission oh, oh yeah the commission like i didn't see like how uh you would pay somebody like a big chunk of your of your margin just to do online ordering right on your website it's not even on your website like you're sending customers that found you that you've been marketing to for years you're sending them somewhere else just so they could place an order online right but you're paying that other company a commission and for me like that was that was really really strange like because we we know how to build tools like this for small businesses 
and give that power to them to be able to do stuff like online ordering, online booking. And um, what was this, the second one? The, the second group was, was uh, like the bigger caterers in the DC area. Like there are still only a handful of them that actually, they built an online ordering system themselves. And the thing that, that kind of sucks about that is that it's expensive and really you should have software people managing that, that process. Like if you're in catering, if you're in any other kind of industry, you shouldn't be trying to tell a, a programmer how to build something because something always happens, gets lost in translation, and it never works out the way you, the customer, wanted that software to get built. Right. And um, so that's why we decided we, we wanted to do something. We saw a huge opportunity in this industry, and we felt like we had the skills, and, and not just the skills, but the vision on how we felt like this thing could and should work for you, the small business caterer that does drop off catering. Um, and so that's why we joined ICA and that's why we're, we're trying, we, we made a video to put a face right. and a story behind the product and we just didn't want it to be a link in a paragraph. Right. And so tell them what, what, what needs to happen next. So if, if, if you're one of the, the type of caterers that do drop off catering, um, you're, you're, you're tired of getting you know, bombarded with phone calls, um, for, for like 10, 15 sandwiches, right? Um, and, and you, you just want a, a better way to, to, to kind of streamline orders through your, your, your catering business, you know, go to gethoneycart.com. We have our phone number there. Um, our email is info at gethoneycart.com. Um, give us, drop us a line, send us an email, leave a comment on this video. We definitely want to hear from you. Even if you're not trying to do online ordering today, we would still want your, uh, your feedback on what you think about our product. Um, and you know, we really just want to, to empower a lot of you caterers that are looking for the, the cutting edge technology to, to, to kind of leapfrog, you know, the rest of the competition that you have. Yeah. Just basically if. If, if you've watched this video to the end and you share the same vision that, man, I don't want to do a bunch of manual stuff that a computer should be right. doing, then please give us a shout. And uh, with that, just want to say thank you for your time and uh, just reach out to us and take care. Thanks. Bye.